Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Uh, welcome everybody. Good morning. Good morning everybody. Welcome to finals All African Senior Championships 2024 Egypt. We have uh, so I am Raja and I will be uh, commenting uh, half French, half English and with us we have Enejo Abba, Nigerian badminton coach. And I'll be here too. First semi final, women singles. Kate Fokun from Mauritius versus uh, Johnny Tashkolt from South Africa. Second semi finals, we have. Mohamed Rafi versus Gladys Mbabazi from Uganda. Yeah, it's an all Uganda clash in the second semi finals. It's going to be an interesting match, I think. Uh, and I think Kate and Scholes, that's going to be a match to watch also. We are here in uh, for the semi-final. We have uh, Kate Fokun versus uh, Joanita Schultz. Yeah. As a, as a coach, uh, and uh, you uh, saw all the matches in the, in the women singles. Yeah. How did you uh, find uh, those uh, women's player matches during all this competition? Yeah, I think the. Women's singles has greatly improved. If you, I, multi I monitored them from the team events. It has been tensed and very, very hectic. And you see, they still play strong, even through the individual events and now the semi-finals. They've greatly improved in terms of their fitness levels and their tactical levels too. They've greatly improved. 
And I'm, above all, I'm very happy because it shows the game is really growing in Africa. I must also commend the Ugandans from nowhere, and you see them playing almost all the semi-finals for the women. Yes. And that's, that's commendable. Yeah, it's true. Uh, last uh, African Championship, yeah. uh, there was only uh, one Ugandan player. Oh no, there was already two. There was Husina and uh, Fadila. Fadila who won the yeah. last uh, yeah, yeah. All Africa Championship in uh, in single. Yeah. And uh, beat um, Juanita Schultz during the final. And uh, last year was the comeback, first comeback of uh, Kate Falkman. I know Kate has done a good job in coming back. You know, it's difficult staying away from the game for a while and then to come back and try to meet up with the others who had who have been competing. Both players here in the semi-final are, are fighting for uh, important uh, points for uh, Olympic, Olympic race. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what has kept Kate. Yeah. That's what has kept Kate uh, focused in, in, in her comeback. She has the Olympic at heart and she's really pushing to get, secure the qualifications. And I think that's what has motivated her to come back and push this good. We can, we can feel this, the, the tense. <laughs> in this match. Yeah, it's in the air. <laughs> Maybe less tension uh, in the second uh, semi-final. Yeah, the all Uganda final semis. Yeah, less tension there. Oh, oh. nice slice. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice slice from... Uh, Kate Fukun. Yeah. I think that's one thing I know about Kate. She's a fighter. Yeah. Every, every game she plays, you see that fight. No matter the level of the player, she she comes with her best every single time. Yeah, it's true. It's true. She's a real fighter. Yeah. And in the tactic, you can see that both are playing in the backhand side. Yeah. Both are Nine. actually playing the same strategy. Yeah. I was actually looking at probably more of the, the baseline shots. But it seems the strategy they are coming up with now is the forehand, forecourt. Sorry, backhand. Kate, who is known to dive, uh, <laughs> dive uh, on the court, fights, uh, as you were saying, a fighting spirit. Yeah, she has all that. the points. Yeah, she has that. Nice saving, but not enough for uh, <laughs> Juanita. Yeah. I think that was obvious he was going in. Nice fight from uh, both ladies. Yeah, nice fight from both ladies. Uh, it, but I like the way Joanita is stretching her all out, all round. Uh, you know, that's what has made her misjudge that shot. At this level, one thing I see common amongst players is the deception in every shot. You know, you need to remain unpredictable almost at all times. Especially in your four court shots. Yeah. Delaying the 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 hit. Hit, yeah. Oh, that was a fault. Too high. 
Nice uh, smash from the backhand side yeah. of Gates. <laughs> Another one in the backhand side again of schools. Yeah, it, took it looks like uh, Kate is applying the strategy to really attack and uh, Put the shuttle down on uh, Joanita's uh, backhand, backhand side. Yeah. At the moment, it looks like both are playing the same thing because they're basically pressurizing the, the, the backhand side of each other. But this is where varying your shots come to play. Uh, I believe both of them have an idea of what's going on. So is. In this situation, I think one of them should, you know, change the strategy, take the minds of the opponent to the other court, yeah, like what she just did now, and then before you come back to face, continue with your strategy. Oh, nice. beautiful, beautiful. Nice cross drop yeah. from Kate on her backhand side. Yeah. You know, just like I was saying, Joanita would be expecting a smash yeah. or a drop to her backhand side and then she was taken on her ways by that shot. Seven ten. While in the second court, uh, Fadila is leading 12-5. Yeah. Playing very fast, clear, strong. Fadila is really fast and strong, and she's very agile. Nice slice, cross slice from Janita. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful Spin. Lesson. That's the first interval of the game. Kate leading 11-7. Do you think experience would come in here? Of course, uh, Joanita is equally experienced, but I think yeah, Kate has had more experience in semi-finals, finals games. you think that would play any role in the outcome of this? I think both uh, have a lot of experience uh, at international level and, and also uh, participating to uh, major events like Olympic, uh, uh, Olympic Games for uh, Kate and uh, World Championship uh, for uh, Joanita, mm -hmm. so um, of course it will uh, it will count, but um, here the pressure also uh, mm -hmm. of the points, the important points. Olympic uh, qualifiers, yeah. Yes, yeah. I think this this will make the difference mm -hmm. because we can see that in the court number two, the yeah. the importance of those points are not the same. Yeah, it's true. Rafi is also in the race for Olympics, huh? Juanita? No, no, Rafi is. Yes, yeah, so Fadila, currently she's uh, seeded number... Uh, One? Uh, number she's listed number two in the Paris uh, 2024 um, qualifying uh, uh, players. Oh, so this is... Um, so she's, she's, uh, she's uh, potentially qualified for... Uh, for Oly Olympic Games, and she, I like we can see that she's trying so hard she's to, qua really to qualify. So hard, yeah. She played so many tournaments um, mm. in Asia, in Africa, in Europe. Yeah, and that has greatly improved her, oh. her game. Oh man! I hope that's not an injury. I hope I hope that it's not so I hope bad. It's not so bad. She slept. Yeah.
patience, patience. She slept. She slept, and I, I, I don't know if she twisted her. Mm. I see Joanita running out of patience, trying to force her shots instead of uh, being patient to get the shots in. Beautiful. Whoa. Good comeback uh, from, good Joanita. Good from Joanita. A, li a little bit careless from Kate. I think she was just trying to be careful with the shot and that's why she made the error. It looks like she can't go up. Whoa, that would have been a lovely point from Joanita. Just unlucky the shots couldn't cross. I think this boils down to patience. Who is patient enough for the strategies to play out? Nice, Beautiful. nice Beautiful. attack. Yeah. <laughs> Joanita being uh, more aggressive on her shot, yeah. all her shots. Yeah. Whoa. Nice defense. Wow. That's amazing. You can see the fight and determination from Joanita. It was close. a nice interception, nice uh, yeah. chance to take yeah. in, in that attack. Yeah. Another little careless shot again. I think that was due to, I uh, must give it to Kate, the, the delay in the drops, the deception, gave her that point. Nice cross slice from Kate. Yeah. While Juanita is trying to cheer herself. Pushing herself to come back. Yeah, that's good. You know, most of Kate's shots are actually unpredictable. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. She, she's delaying really yeah. a lot her all her shots. Yeah, and she varies her shots a lot. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Small dance from Kate trying to <laughs> <laughs> to dive, but uh, maybe too late. Yeah, too late. Fadila back on court. Oh, unlucky for Kate. Adina looking like she's struggling a little. Yeah. Looks like she wants to protect her uh, leg. Yeah. And Gladys uh, pushing her on pushing the... On the record to, <laughs> to force out some errors from her. And she has gotten one out of it. Let's see how it plays out for her. Fadila, who is also qualified uh, in the semi-final in the ladies' double. Yeah, she equally has ladies' doubles. So, Abba, um, you you are an ex-player. You were yeah. former pl international player. Yeah. How um, how did you uh, became a national coach after your career? Well, uh, 
I actually had been taking part in some little programs, especially for kids. Uh, I engaged in the shuttle time tutors course, and we've done one or two programs. And I, of course, help most of the younger players, some from the junior team and also some of the senior team. And I'm equally a university coach back in Nigeria. So I get some of the players into school so they can play badminton and also study. So I've actually been into coaching for a while now. So and the Federation recognized that and they thought that with my experience, I should come and also give my contribution to the national team. And that's why I'm here pushing for them. 1918. Wow. Juanita came back, she but. She came uh, back, yeah, Kate is still ahead, but that's a very good comeback. Now we'll see who, 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 who plays better in the important points, in key points. That looks oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> This is where mental toughness matters a lot. Who has the will to stick to strategy and take the first game? Oh! Game point for Kate. An error from Joanita. This first set is important for both of them. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I was right on the line. Same as uh, in the first part of the, the set. Yeah. Wrong... Uh, Misjudgment from Kate. Wrong judgment. Yeah, wrong judgment. But it's a good fight from uh, both of them. Yeah. No one wants to uh, no let the shuttle uh, down. <laughs> yeah. First game won by Kate. Wow. Joanita did very well by fighting back. But Kate was able to stay strong and finish the first set. So you as a coach, what will you uh, advise to both of those, those uh, players? To, yeah. to Kate and to Joanita to come back. Yeah, I would advise uh, Joanita to add a little more deception to her shots. And once she uh, plays two or three back shots to Kate and uh, she gets a weak reply, she needs to go on with her stick smash or a full smash. But then she had done that, she had tried that, but she made some errors and I'm sure that's why she's not doing that. All I'll tell her now is just be safe, play safe. Don't expect to win the point from the stick smash. Just expect to get another weaker return and then you can go and make the final finish. So she just needs to be patient with... She, she, she's in a hurry to make the point. Anytime she gets a weak return, She's in a hurry to make the point. She still needs to be patient until she gets a very sure finish, opportunity to finish, and she goes all in. And I would tell Kate to maintain her, her, her strategy. 
she's actually quite deceptive. Almost every shot is, is unpredictable for Jonita. So she does more work than Kate in the game as it stands. Because she would have to second guess each shot she's going for. So that's keeping her guessing all the time and it doesn't uh, give her a smooth movement around the court. Let's see if uh, those coaches has uh, given the same advice as... Uh... No. In the second uh, court, court number two, uh, Fadila has won her first set. Wow. But uh, looks like she's pain or she's... Uh, She's really struggling. If you see the score, before the injury, I guess they were around 12-5. And that's over seven-point lead. But now see the final score, 21-19. It shows she really struggled to win the first game. I hope the ankle doesn't weigh her down. Because this game is, is crucial for her Olympic race. It can only be switched off from here. Kate, uh, Kate uh, is uh, her her net shot are not uh, better than Juanita. Yeah. So, Juanita trying. Ooh. Beautiful. That's what I said. Yeah, she needs to add a little deception to her shots. Yeah, if she can do that, she could get. Even if Kate gets to the shots, she's gonna give her a weak return. And then do it better. Oh, yeah. she tried the same. Yeah, she tried the same. It looks like uh, Kate is also like uh, more challenged with this uh, deception from Johanita. Yeah. Misjudgment. Same, same misjudgment from Joanita. Same <laughs> side, same to side do something of. like that. Uh, <laughs> very, very special there. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Definitely not the drift. Oh. Joanita trying to make a tight net shot there. Yeah, it's, it was. It was a nice uh, choice from uh, Joanita. Yeah. But not successful. Not successful. And like you said, she is actually better at the net. But you see, anytime she gets the shots to the net, Kate, she doesn't even think twice. She gets it back to the record. She's beautiful. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, beautiful combat. Good fight from Joanita. Oh. Oh, nice. And that's Kate for you. Nice fights. Nice fight, nice plan, nice execution, and a beautiful finish from Kate. Yeah, nice rally in that semi-final number one. Yeah. Okay, semi-finals number two on the way.
Another important thing in um, games like this is you know your opponent's strength and try as much as possible to get them away from there. Like Kate is doing at the moment. She hardly plays net shots. Only when she's attacking, when she's doing her drops and her smashes. But she hardly plays net shots because she's well aware of the fact that Joanita has good tight net shots and better composure there. So it's important for her to keep the shuttle always at the record. Beautiful, beautiful. Now on the back, she's really confident, uh, Kate. Yeah. With, with her slice straight and cross. Yeah. Joanita very far on her uh, defense. Yeah. Even she's uh, explosive, uh, it's not enough to uh, defense, defense correctly. Yeah. So you are, um, you said you are uh, coaching. What what kind of player are you coaching? Are you specialized like in uh, women single, like men single? Yeah. Any doubles or uh, yeah. you well, are? Well, the way we do it for now in Nigeria, we we have to coach all events. But if I would pick, I think I would be a doubles coach. Yeah, I understand the game better and. Uh, I think I, I love doubles more as a coach, but when I was playing, uh, of course, I loved singles more. <laughs> but as a coach, I don't know. I just I love doubles because I see a lot of easy tactics you could use to make points and win matches. See what Kate is doing. Yeah, she's shots, using. Yeah, her shots are quite deceptive and you know I told you she hardly plays the four courts because she knows Juanita is stronger. So now she has given her the impression that she's punching her all the way the rare courts. And then occasionally she disguises her shots and plays the four courts. The punching to the back has kept Juanita guessing all the shots to the back court and has pushed her a little bit backward. So now that Kate has pushed her backwards and she has realized that Joanita is, is covering the backcourt well, she's now adding the deception and bringing them to the forecourt. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful from uh, Joanita. Yeah. Juanita uh, trying to uh, keep her feet uh, explosive with yeah. small jumps. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Oh, it was nice. nice. Nice try from Juanita yeah. for... Uh, Late shot. Well, I think what Joanita needs to do now is to play more of safety shots. Yeah. Away from the net a little. Because uh, Kate's deceptions, uh, deceptive shots are actually very effective closer to the net. Well, I think she should uh, see how Kate is taking her, playing it safe, bringing it out of the box. If she can do that to Kate, then probably some of her deception won't be that effective. Yeah, it's true. She's coming back. She's a bit far in yeah. the last part of the court. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice interception from uh, yeah, Joanita. Joanita. Straight match. Close to the line. Yeah.
Oh, no, no. Interval and Kate is ahead. 11 7. Wow, it's an interesting game. Joanita will need to bring out some of her smashes if she must stay in this game. She has tried pushing Kate around and Kate has a reply to everything. I think she needs to use more of her, her smashes. To get Kate on the defensive. coming from but the games will have to wait until it's sorted Twelve seven. Eleven seven. No, in this one Okay, here, yeah, 12 7. Yeah, in the yeah, code number, number 2. 11 7. Oh, Fadila seems to be back on her feet. 12 7 2. Oh. <laughs> we were right. Yeah. You see, Kate is doing it again. She's keeping her at the back. And yeah. then before you know, probably a surprise net shot. Yeah. You see that? Wow. Whoa. <laughs> she was not expecting that Juanita could uh, get this get shot. Get this shot, yeah. The last one. From for her to play backhand shots, I don't think she has really done that in this game, so it shows a little bit of tiredness. While uh, Juanita looks very, very, very comfortable, comfortable yeah. physically, yeah, doing a lot of mistakes. I think she just needs patience. She's 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 doing well physically, so she needs to be patient and just stay in the rally, stay in the game. Yeah. 
good. Another misjudgment, I think. <coughs> Another misjudgment by Kate. When the player is tired, you get to know from her over the headshots, especially at the backhand side. Juanita needs to keep more shots on this side. Nice one. Good. Good. Oh. Mm. Patience, patience. She was do she was keeping the rally and then she tried this one. And then she wants to make a very, very fast you know if you want to make points you still need to be very patient for, for it to play out. One problem players normally have is they want to play a shot and just get a point from it. Oh, that was careless from Kate. <laughs> wow. Lucky, luckily it crossed. Second set uh, in, in the second court, it looks like uh, Adila Chamika yeah. is injured. Yeah. The game stopped again. It's very difficult to take a decision to stop when you're yeah, in semi-final and you are fighting for points. You have to think about the points, but you also have to take think to yeah, stay also. healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in a situation where she has taken the first set and she's looking comfortable at the second set. It's so nice shot from uh, Juanita. Cross flat. Clear. Pushing in the back, Kate. And taking the lead in this second set. Yeah, okay, uh, Juanita. She's leading, I think this is the first time she's leading in the match. Yeah, first time, yeah, exactly. So she needs to stay strong and hold on to this. Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> yeah, she dived. She whoa. gave all her life in that dive. You see why it's good not, it's good to, 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 to never give up. Never give up. This is a really wow. good example. Yeah, I've never give up. Even though she knew if she picked the shot, she would most likely still lose the point because Joanita was waiting right there. <coughs> <coughs> Crucial points that give uh, the opportunity to uh, Kate to come back at 16 all. Nice. <coughs> she also, Joanita, give her all her yeah. life in that uh, <laughs> shot in the net. What a match. <coughs> what a match. Absolutely good not to give up. Now that been a finish. Whoa! Yeah. Kate is back stronger and determined to finish this. <coughs> Mistake from uh, Joanita. Uh, 
has give, taken Kate back to the lead. Yeah, three points to the to the winning side. Oh, another error from Joanita. Looks like Joanita is uh, that point take from her a lot. Whoa, amazing, amazing. Kate has this very good deceptive shot and She's that's fighting. what's really helping her now. Her ability to play the front the front court. Whoa. Kate's ability to play the back shots and the four cuts with the same kind of swing makes it difficult for opponents to know if she's actually going to the back or coming to the front court. That's a very good quality from Kate. <laughs> ah, the pressure is rising. Everybody is. <laughs> All players are tense right now. Critical point. that if she had taken a chance to jump for a kill I think she would have gotten that point yeah she she was afraid to uh, yeah, she was afraid miss she was it safe. whoa and that's game over 22 20 21 19 That was an impressive performance by Kate. Sheer determination and skill. Wow. And a very, very good fight from Joanita. Oh, oh. Joanita looks very, very angry. Very angry, yeah. Against herself. Yeah. It's tough, it's tough. Yeah. While we are uh, in the court number two, still playing. Nine sixteen. Did I hear game point? Twenty sixteen. Whoa, one game. Oh. Oh, it looks. It will. Gladys and Babazi is the really the, the, the outsider that is coming to the yeah. semi-final now and yeah. has a chance to go to the to final. Go to the finals. She uh, she beat Noor uh, U3 in the first round. Wow, that was a big upset. And then she played. She had some good good opponents. Yeah, I think I must say she's she's. Uh, well conditioned because if you see the games she has been playing from the team events tough tough matches and very stressful games and she still she has been pushing through and she's still standing strong I think she's she has a very good condition I heard that uh, she was in uh, center of excellence during uh, many months to train there in Denmark. Oh, wow, wow, okay. It looks like it's paying now. Definitely paying. Definitely paying off. And uh, she uh, she feel uh, very fresh. Yeah, that's how it looks, you know. For the kind of matches she has played, and she's still looking fresh. I think I must give it to her. She's well conditioned. In quarterfinals, she, she beat uh, 
Munib Celia from Algeria. Wow. And now she's in the semi-final against her teammate uh, Fadila Shamika, oh, Mohamed Rafi, yeah. who is also fighting for a spot in final. Oh, nice. Crucial points for the Olympic race. Yeah. <coughs> While so. the first uh, men's single uh, semi-final is uh, coming in yeah. with uh, Adham Hatem and Julian Paul. Yeah. An interesting encounter. These two guys, they, they really amaze me, you know? They play all three events and they play at the high level in Africa, you know? It's not easy to compete to the semis and singles, mixed doubles and, and doubles. Yeah, very, very talented. Adam playing at home. Yeah, and the, the crowd is uh, coming <laughs> yeah. step by step. Yeah. Women singles, second semi final, still battling it out. Fighting for a spot in the finals with Kate from Mauritius. So we will give the floor to the interview of uh, Kate uh, Fukun and uh, so we thank you uh, Abba for uh, having us, having you with us thank in the commentary much. box. Yeah, it was, it was my, my pleasure, I appreciate the opportunity. So uh, we really uh, wish uh, good luck for uh, all your teammates, Team Nigeria. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, hope to see you uh, soon again. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to All Africa Senior Championship 2024. Here in Cairo, Egypt, for the individual event semi-finals women singles, Kate Bukun, congratulations first for your game. Um, our African champion, welcome back to the All Africa, and we are happy to see you again. So just tell me now, how do you feel after coming back to the final after this long year? 
Oh, it feels amazing. To be honest, of course, yesterday I was quite nervous because for me it's such a big deal coming back. I think my last African Championships was 2019 when I uh, won. And then um, I had a really big break, so uh, it was really, really tough training back to get back to my level and I'm not the youngest or <laughs> anymore. Um, so also it, it's very hard situations because the shuttle here is very slow. So we have to really adapt to the situation. And uh, But I'm so happy my whole team is here. The coach from Mauritius is here. The coach from uh, France is here. Uh, we have a physio, we have a, a team manager, we have everybody here to, to prepare us to win and that's what I'm going to do today. That's great. So playing against Juanita in the semi-finals, we know that it's quite a tough match. African champion against African champion in semi-finals, very tough. And we can see the score 22-20, 21-19, very tight game and ups and downs. So how do you manage to, to, to by the end, get this um, winning and what are the main Tips uh, or tips that the coach give you to to make you manage. Uh, obviously, he was very very supportive, so that helped me a lot. And also, I think that it's a lot about the mental. We really need to have the winning attitude, uh, the winning attitude that we can do it, that we will fight no matter what, that we will win no matter what. And that's what we did today. It was very close match. I want to s tell Tunita she did amazing as well. Uh, it could have at some point gone anyway and it was very close so congratulations to her too we did both did great so we'll see you afternoon in the finals so good luck and see you then thank you Back in uh, this semi-final, men single between Adham Hatem from Egypt and Julian Paul from Mauritius. They know each other very well. They played uh, together uh, so much. Julian, the former uh, African champion. Nice match from Julian. And we have with us uh, at the commentary box uh, the Mauritius national coach, Coach Muna. Good morning. Good morning. We have uh, we are we are happy to have you uh, with us, commenting uh, that semi-final between Julian Paul Mauritius and uh, Algeria and Egyptian player Adham Hatem. Thank you for inviting me here. 
Uh, it looks a good match. It will be a very tough match for because both are same level player. What I can see that uh, it will be like 50-50 match. But I don't want to say that uh, Julian Evit uh, good playing, but both are playing very good. So we wait for the end. See who will be can fin fin can finish the match. Yeah. Really nice uh, attack from Julian. Well, uh, putting Adam in defense. Yes, Julian like to play attacking match. His match actually is a more attacking and more box match. And Adam trying to play more rally match, but it will be difficult for Adam if he play rally because Julian is more powerful match. Adam playing in the at home uh, can make him uh, playing better as he loves playing in Egypt. He did very well, uh, good, nice matches and he played very well when he's at home. But Julian looks like uh, he's uh, really taking in a good shape uh, this, uh, this match. As a coach uh, from Mauritius, uh, how um, you, you have uh, trained uh, Julian what were you giving him uh, as a training what was the focus uh? actually Julian was training his skill training more less of physical because uh, he's like to focus his for Olympic so we are giving him like more like uh, skill training more strength training that he can be fight for the international players <clears throat> but he was a uh, training in France now is a one club so he was uh, because in Mauritius, you know that uh, his level is very less player. We don't have any uh, senior player much. Only have I uh, have a young players. So he will move to France for good training and plus a good sparring. So he's a uh, what I spoke to him before he's come here. It's a good training for him there because he's getting a lot of sp uh, sparring and they have a lot of league for club. So it's helped him a lot for improve his uh, uh, this level. To progress. So, do, can you notice uh, a change in his uh, game uh, since uh, when he left Mauritius and you were still uh, you were training him and uh, now? Well, I can see that he have a confidence more, but uh, I I think myself that he should work on his fitness as well because sometimes we'll see that when he's play wrong ready. He will be not able to like uh, continue the match. He have to be give another one two point to opponent. He have to be relaxed. Then he can come back again. So, but uh, I think so. He can manage this because he knows these all things. He have uh, this maturity that uh, he can manage himself. Okay, okay. We saw Adam now uh, trying to uh, take the attack. Nice, nice shot on the net. Yeah, that's what we can see that Adam changed his game. He was uh, playing defensive match, now he's going to attacking match. So, so Kate, uh, Mauritius, from Mauritius uh, has already uh, won the, the semi-final. So already won uh, one or at least silver medal for Mauritius. Yes. How was, how uh, was her game as a coach? Yeah, I saw that she's playing good. She's better played because team event uh, we didn't see she's perform like that. But we are playing same South Africa. It was uh, very tough for her. But I saw that I, I think so she can read the match uh, when she played the team event. So this helped her a lot that she can uh, manage to her individual match to win. Not even best of three, straight she finished. And I hope that uh, she can use this in her final match. With, uh, I have no idea who will be good from the Fadila or the opponent. But I saw that Fadila was injured. So I hope uh, Kate can maintain her game so can can win. Fadila just won uh, her match. We can hear uh, that scream yes. coming from the heart. So. It's mean that uh, Fadila and uh, Kate. So I hope Fadila can play her match and Kate also because Fadila was uh, injured. I saw that her ankle was injured. So it, uh, it will be a good match.
first set uh, lead by uh, Julian. As a coach, what will you uh, advise to Adam with his type of game? Uh, Adam should not play more really game because uh, what I see that Julian more playing aggressive match like like attacking attacking. Adam should not give to Julian to attacking. If he gives to attacking to Julian, I don't think so. He can manage to finish match because what I seeing is uh, Julian don't want it to go really. He wanted to finish as fast as he can because his attacking is good and his box match is really good for Julian. So Adam have to go to change his match to go attacking and he have to attack plus he have to be maintain his game. Then only he can do it something better. Adam uh, more aggressive here and uh, trying to move Julian more. Let's see uh, if uh, he will apply that uh, strategy. Yeah. But I, I feel that Adam a bit pressure because it's a home ground and he's, he's taking pressure that uh, he have to be win the match. So that's maybe make him a pressure a bit because what I see that he is a bit mindset pressure that uh, he wanted to win this match anyhow because they have only in the home ground and only the two semi-final they're playing. So that's make them to a bit pressure. Gentlemen, welcome to All Africa Senior Championship 2024 semi finals. Gladys, our Ugandan star, how do you feel after the match? Um, I feel proud of myself that I've come this far and I'm proud of my performance. Maybe it wasn't my time this time around. She needed the points more than me, so let her go to the finals and let's see if she can, she can take the gold. As a, uh, to get to the semi-finals by yourself, so how is it like uh, you made it so far? I just feel like more proud. I didn't get you. I am so happy. I am so proud of myself that I've come. I've, I've made it to the semi-finals. Yeah, and I thank God for letting me go this far. And what do you expect for the Ugandan team? I tell them not to give up hope and to keep on fighting and with hard work. Thank you so much, Gladys. Coach Muna, um, how long now are you in Mauritius and what's your background and how is it working now in uh, Mauritius? Uh, in Mauritius almost I have a two years already, I done my two years. So my background was uh, I'm a Bangladesh national player previously, then I stopped my because of my injured. Then I moved to Malaysia for coaching. So I was working in New Vision Badminton Academy almost six years over there. And I have experience for coaching in India and I have a more than 30 country players. I work with them together. So that's my background. And when I moved to Mauritius, it's really for me is a new new journey because it's a national team. I didn't work for national team. So it's helped me a lot because there's a lot of young players who really work hard. And uh, I hope you remember that under 19, we have a good result. We have a team event, even individual, we have a good result. 
and some of the senior players they are really playing good. Uh, it's been uh, last year All Africa uh, mixed team championship. We are runners up. Um, uh, we, we should be champion, but uh, unfortunately we lost because of uh, Julian was too tired the match. As I say, I was never thinking about that Julian will be tired and doubles he lost. So this time I can say that uh, my team is more young players, so we are bringing them for experience because uh, whoever our senior player, they are really uh, getting too old and maybe another few years they will be stopped. Who knows, uh, because after Olympic I, I have to see the kid because kid age is almost, uh, I think so, 30. So she should uh, have to think about her future as well as a badminton player. But Mauritius badminton, there's a lot of talent got. So I hope in future they can do something better for that. Nice to, to hear that uh, you are mixing uh, experienced players with uh, new, new talented players, bringing some uh, nice uh, uh, competencies, developing competencies uh, and skills to the players, kind of mentoring uh, uh, new, new players, talented. Uh, we saw in your team you uh, bring the, a very, uh, very young one. Uh, how was her? Uh, first experience did you discuss with her and uh... well uh, I see that I have a 30 four, 15 years old girl uh, Tia Button and uh, I have a Kiara also 17 Luca Dus also 17 uh, Kempti Shrai he just finishes uh, under 19 uh, career so they are they are really trying to be understand this senior tournament and uh, I can say that uh, it will be help them in the, their new journey for senior and the junior as well uh, if i'm not wrong there's an under 19 tournament is uh, in august maybe yeah exactly we have the all africa uh, under 19 championship um, team event and individual event in senegal uh, senegal who is also hosting the youth olympic games in 2026 yeah so, so it's a good journey that is coming for african players your players uh, went and won medals in um, under 15 All Africa yeah. Championship last uh, December in Zimbabwe. So, what I can say that my under 15 team, uh, it was really tough because we are preparing and there's uh, some, you know, the tournament was changed, so some of them have exam. So they really like we couldn't could not uh, prepare for the tournament much. But uh, my colleague, uh, Coach Niresh, he was preparing them very well. Myself, I'm supporting, and my another colleague, uh, Niresh, uh, sorry, uh, Yogesh. So we are we are three percent working for the national team right now. So we we try to manage to our team to continue their study plus uh, training because uh, it was a uh, exam times. And the players was uh, very busy with exams, but uh, unfortunately we could not make it the champion. Uh, my target was uh, have to be champion my under 15 team, but they couldn't manage. But uh, at least they played the semi-finals. But I, I think so the individual they they perform a lot. Uh, but the things, the, all the young players they don't have any experience for the tournament. Their first time going overseas tournament, and they really trends. When I spoke to the players uh, before the team event final and the coach. I can see that they are really like scared to play, how to play, because it's the first time they are playing. But it will be help them for next generation, for under 19, for them. It will be good. Nice to hear that uh, Mauritius uh, is working hard to develop uh, players, allocating uh, funds to have a, a coach that can uh, lead the and train hard uh, players. We can see Mauritius uh, in many finals here in this championship. Um, won the last under 19 in Mauritius uh, with Kamti Standa uh, champion and Luca Dus uh, vice champion, silver, silver medal. Uh, also in uh, ladies uh, single, Tia Burton. Uh, of course, she, she was on the podium, but not uh, winning. And uh, here in this turn championship, we have Julian Paul. Um, Kate also now is in final. 
you have a, a final with uh, uh, two uh, pair of uh, men double. Well, uh, my men doubles players, uh, I have uh, prepared for them to men doubles. So there was a training we are doing before we came, but we don't train much in doubles. We are focusing more singles. So Julia, uh, sorry, uh, Melvin and Tej, so they are preparing for doubles. So I'm really happy for the yesterday match. They played good, and when I, I hope you saw that I'm running both court because uh, my both players are playing at the same times. So when I finish that match, I go to my another match for Lukadus and Kamtishrai, and I, I saw that they are really tension because of uh, they are saw that the crowd of the Egypt and they are clapping and they are very young. But the, the end of the time they tried to manage because it was a leading 1915. Uh, then uh, my players, when I talked to them, they tried to manage their match, continue. And yes, we managed it for nice. quarter final. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, it was a nice match. And here we just saw a super, uh, super, ma super uh, rally between Julian and uh, Adham, bringing Julian on the net. and. Uh, it's very late, Julian. Yes, uh, what I can see that uh, Adam trying to now like bring Julian front and back, and he wanted to go a bit attack. But uh, sometimes uh, what I see that Julian losing focus because uh, how he played the first match, he's not uh, playing same rhythm. Yeah. I can see that he a bit slow now. Can we say that uh, his phys physical is uh, his energy is going down? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, he will manage this because uh, I know Julian very well so far. But uh, he have the strength to finish this match. But uh, maybe he's trying to like a bit relax, two three point, then he will maybe again speed his game. I can see that yeah. he's he's come back again. That uh, he's more attacking. As you said, he was managing rallies, be patient until he get the opportunity to yes. finish. He has a lot of passion, what I can say that uh, since uh, I was working in two years in uh, Mauritius, he has a lot of passion, uh, passion because uh, he went uh, injured, you know that he was injured. Uh, yes. After he injured, he come back, he was a very strong mindset that he can win the older players still. And he was managed to last year in All Africa Championship uh, individual uh, final. Yeah, Julian was uh, after his uh, play at uh, participation at the Olympic Games. He had uh, Achilles uh, injury, injury, which uh, took him one year off uh, the court. Yeah, but now he's back. Uh, he's stronger, back stronger, stronger than uh, before. I can say yes, he is stronger than before because his uh, now mindset and the playing game and he work a lot for his leg, that's what makes him most strong and for injured it's very important for the players, you have to be mind very strong, if you're not strong you will not be able to come back to again the same place. But he come back very fast, we can say that because uh, normally one player injured, uh, that took one, two years, sometimes uh, players never come back but he's come back very fast. Yeah. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. Adham uh, fighting very hard. Yes, that's... Long what? rallies, starting long rallies. Yes, if I'm not wrong, Adam, uh, before this tournament, he was uh, training in Malaysia. That's what I saw that. He was uh, training in Malaysia for preparing this tournament. So he also quite fit for this tournament and he was uh, preparing for the champion. So it will be not easy for Julian as well. You can see that uh, Adam is struggling yeah. for the rally and his... This long rally is... Uh impact on him. Nice shot from Julian. He was uh, pushing back to Adam and he's getting shuttle half court and he's finished. Looking like uh, he's a bit struggling after that long rallies. Yes, that's what we can see that uh, Adam went the wrong long rally. He was uh, struggling another two, three points. Then he's trying to again play again, like his speed. 
but Julian playing more patient. He's not rushing the match. And Adam rushing to point. Yeah. This is a very important for the players. When you are playing the such a strong match, you have to be more patient and play. You cannot be rushed for the point. Because when you are rushed for point, you will give more point to opponent. That's what Adam trying to do now. He's uh, looking points, so that's why he's mistake a lot. And also in terms of body language, we can see that Julian is very relaxed, very comfortable. While Adam is very forcing all his uh, shots, putting a lot of energy. Yeah, the Adam trying to like uh, one shot kill. As a coach, we call this the one shot kill. I want to kill one shot. I don't want to go to rally. And this is a lot really good for the players when you're playing such a strong match. You have to be more patient and play more rally. It was a nice shot from Adam. Nice cross slice. What, what kind of skills do you need when you, you are doing this kind of, um, of uh, slice cross shot? You have to more train like, uh, it's not only that uh, you have to can train the skill, plus you can do after. And gentlemen? Welcome to all Africa After Senior finish, Championship uh, 2024 you can do it like some life skill. Here we have the Ugandan Championship Fadila. Fadila, how do you feel after the match, after winning and now going to the finals? Um, not so good. I mean, yeah, I won, but um, right now my injury looks pretty bad, so I'm a bit disappointed about that. So we're so sorry for your injury. So as you feel now a pressure on you to go to the finals with your injury? I'm not sure I still have time to make a decision, so um, I'll decide whether to play or not. We all wish you best of luck. Thank you for the opportunity. Interview of uh, Fadila who is not looking really well, walking, uh, feeling injured. Yes, uh, just we saw that her match, second match, she injured her ankle. So she, but she managed her match. It's really good for the other players. I saw that she's a very fighter, that she not give up uh, any single points. No, no, no. Even she played against her teammates, she didn't give up. Exactly. Let's see how it will be during the final. Yes, I hope she can play good in uh, her final match. And Kit also really strong, so we hope both can play their match. And Kit have a lot of experience for the match. She was, a, if I'm not wrong, previously all Africa champion. So she have a lot of experience for the African tournament. And Fadila is very young, and she have a more power game. I hope it will be a good match. While well, here we can see that Adham is back. Yes, uh, we can see that uh, Adam now playing more patient and he is uh, back for his match. And Julia uh, looks a bit uh, tired. Maybe he's. Uh, taking rest and maybe he will come back again for one, two points. But Julien is really, uh, his uh, best uh, skills, one of his best skills is also the net. Very yeah. precise on the net, uh, spinning on the shuttles in the net. Yes, uh, Julien liked to play more net spin and when the shuttle up, he wanted to attack. His game actually more attacking game, so when any player playing attacking game, they like to put net spin good and when there's opponent give, they wanted to kill. So that's what he's doing, but I can see that Julian trying to more rally as well. He's not going to kill it as fast as he can. That's what we can see that uh, he's trying to more rally, that uh, Adam losing his control yeah. and giving easily points. It's really a matter of control now. Yes. How to start uh, playing this type of uh, of rallies? Maybe more in the middle, and then you are uh, playing closer 
right, closer to the line. Yes, uh, what I can say that uh, this level of player, they are both the same level of player. So they will never rush the match. They are playing, both of them, they are playing like more patient and more really, really. So when they are getting right time to, to kill opponent, they are trying to kill. And that's where they are playing more really. That's what you can see that. Nice attack from Julian. Straight smash. Powerful. And in the court number two, we have uh, a match. Uh, we can say it's a derby between uh, two Nigerian players, Anu Payori, uh, who is Anu is uh, last year All Africa champion. Yeah. And he's really, uh, I can say, they're strong for his opponent because they're the same country and Anu is, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, Anu is number one of his uh, rank of his country and uh, the players, I think, so number two or number three. And he, he is junior. Yeah. Actually, so he's, uh, he's uh, under 19. Oh, that, that's really good. Under 19 players playing semi-final. Actually, if you see that uh, African, all the tournaments, past five years and now, is a lot of change. There are a lot of progress. It's not easy to anyone can can say that I will be champion in the tournament. There's a lot of progress for African uh, continent and all the countries. Yeah, even in the team event, we saw that there was a, it was really hard. All the matches, even in the the group stage, was a very tough matches. Three sets, three two, long matches, and here we have a very long rallies. Let's look, uh, Adam playing really good. He managed to take 11 points earlier than Julian. And we start now to see longer rallies. Yes. They are playing now more rallies and they are trying to more patient and play. So Adam playing more smartly, so he's getting more points right now. Uh, I don't know where he's going, but it looks like he don't feel good. I think so he's having some problem maybe that's why he's going outside. Yeah. yeah I feel like he's maybe vomit or something maybe. Yeah. Uh, we we don't know that. what uh, happened there. I hope he's back. Replacement of uh, that box, but yeah. uh, the player is uh, not yet back. He should not go. Let's see how what happens. Um, maybe referee is. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh. so that's mean uh, Adam is vomited. That's mean he's really tired. Maybe maybe yeah. he's not enough sleep. You know, yesterday they played a lot of match. Yeah, it's and uh, they start again uh, back in the morning. Yeah, because uh, when I spoke to my players who was playing semi final, you know, we have finished uh, almost 10 o'clock yesterday, uh, 9:30 something. Then we went to room, a hotel. To we had a, our dinner, so it's really late for to sleep. And they every uh, again they have to come early morning to the match. So maybe Adam also having same problem, maybe less of sleep. So that's why maybe he's not feeling well. But so is it? Um, Coach Muna, we saw here uh, Adam uh, throwing up, uh, maybe uh, uh, vomiting. So what's the advice as a coach when you have a long tournament uh, like this one that uh, the players uh, are, are having? with the long matches and hard matches in the team event and then individual event you are playing maybe he's playing three draws singles men's double and mixed doubles tough matches uh, and here in semi-final starting nine o'clock less sleep what advice in terms of nutrition in terms of sleep in terms of what advice are you giving to your players for me as a players as a professional players, you must have to be taking your food. Food is very important for nutrition. 
because what I see in Africa, many players, they are not focusing their food. They are eating whatever they like to eat. But as a professional players, as a players, you have to be maintain your good nutrition food, and you have to be well rest, drink water a lot. Because what I face in the, I saw in the tournament, even the weather is cold, but you can cannot drink very less. I saw many players they don't like to drink water because they're not thirsty. But it's not mean that you are not thirsty. You don't need to drink water. You have to drink a lot of water so that your muscle can give you more energy, that you can play next match more better. And second things, the food, uh, some of the players, they're eating a lot of junk food. They're not maintaining their good food. What I was uh, noticing, the many players. And uh, you have to manage your sleep. You, this is a very important. You should not go to your friend place and uh, spend time outside. You finish match, you have to be relaxed. You have to uh, analyze your game, what you played, because it's a good opportunity, there's a live going on, so you can watch your match back when you go room, and you can come back to next match, it's more stronger. Nice cross defense from Adham. Match is going, uh, going on again. Whoa. It was a nice shot from Adam. Nice uh, cross match from Adham. So you were you were uh, talking about food. So um, what kind of, of food you were taking you as a player, or you were advising to uh, uh, your player to take well, in this kind of tournaments? Or or uh, are you differencing food between training time and competition time? Yes, it's definitely training time and tournament time is not the same food. You training time you cannot eat. You can eat anything. Also, you have a time to rest and you can be re uh, digest your food. But the problem here when you're playing tournament, you have to know which food give you more energy and not make your body too slow. Because if you eat, uh, for me, uh, as like, uh, if you have a match in the afternoon, you can't eat a strong food like a beef or meat, any meat. If you eat meat, it need minimum three to four hours to digest your food. But the things, I saw that many of the players, they have a match, they're eating a lot of meat, and they don't have enough time to digest the food. Then when they come in the match, their body is very heavy. So you have to maintain, like you have to eat more vegetables, more fruits, drinks water, drinks juice, and you have to maintain the food. Then, then you will be more faster in the court. Consistency in the food. Yeah. It looks Julian is now playing good. He's yeah. playing more smartly. Nice, nice. Uh, we saw a nice match from Julian on the body of uh, Al Gamal, and now Julian defending. Yes, again. Yes. He's trying to attack in uh, Adam body. He's not going to playing line smash. Yes. That's really good smash from Julian Paul. And we can hear from here the coach uh, from of Julian uh, laughing and screaming. Yes, we can see that uh, he's really excited for the match. Yeah. Actually, as a coach, when you sit behind, it's really you have also tensions plus uh, excited for every single point. Like yesterday, I was very tired for that. My, I have a two doubles match back to back and the singles as well for Julian Kate. Because Julian was playing faster, he was playing good, like could not manage his match. Then after back to back, he managed to match. So it was also a tough match for Julian yesterday. It's not an easy match. Julian leading 14-12. It was a good opportunity, he created uh, that uh, speed. Yes, Julian's trying to not full smash, he's trying to half smash and kill, but he could not manage, he missed the point. Was he late? Uh, was he late or...? Uh, uh, no, it's not a late, uh, you can say that he's trying to, to deep smash. He wanted to like just finish, but he could not manage.
you can see that they are playing very nice long rally. Nice rally. Yeah. Nice cross defense. Looks like they are tired both of them. Yes. Oh. It was a very long rally. Long, long, long rally. Julian trying to very patient. Huh? Patient and he's trying to make his opponent to more long rally and he wanted to make a pressure to Adam. That's what we can see that, but Aram also playing really good. Yeah, very he good. He couldn't manage the points. Very good match from both uh, both player. Yes, it is both a s both same level and strong strong player both. Uh. Yeah, and and both uh, fighting for the continental spot yes. in the Olympic race, Olympic yes. qualification for 2024 Paris Games. Yes, I think so. They are both uh, number one and number two in the points right now. And their point is very, very close. Who will be win? He have a chance to play Olympic. And there's Anu also. So Anu in this tournament is the seed number one. And uh, he's uh, way... Uh, he won the first set, but uh, struggling uh, in the second set. Or uh, the junior player... Uh, Trying to also uh, keep a spot for the final. Yeah, that's what you can see that uh, 17 uh, 13. Anu was struggling a bit. A good rally. Nice shot from Adam. Nice fight. He's pushing, pushing, and he make his opponent to slow and chop. Nice slice he did. Yeah, trying to change the rhythm of the of that rally. Yeah. Accelerating. Uh, but it's really a tight match. We can see that the score is 16, 15, and 16. You can see that uh, Julian very nice net spin and he's going to attack. Close match uh, in the court number two. Yes, it looks uh, Anu is back. He's an 18 all.
Nice defense and attack from both players. Adam look uh, very, very uh, not in. Uh, Adam trying to kill, but the Julian good. playing more patient and he's more relaxed and playing. You can see that uh, he is giving to Adam to smash. He's not block. feeling good. Adam, and, uh, yeah. Adam looks he's not feeling well. No, no, no. He do not look feel well at all. Nice shot from Adam. He was ready for shot when Julian smash his counter smash. A small jump uh, there on uh, the court number two. Yes, uh, we can see that uh, Anu is struggling for second match. He's a 2019 score. Julian, two, two points away from the the winning side. But Adham didn't uh, say his last word. You can see that Adam is struggling his match because maybe he's not feeling well, so he's giving a lot of out. Yeah, he's pushing very hard, uh, forcing his uh, smash. Yes, so what I can say that I can see Adam trying to, as fast as he can, wanted to kill the points, that he can be more rest, but the problem is Julian playing more patient. He's giving to rally, rally to his. And we can see court number two is uh, Anu lost second match. So it's While best here, three. yeah, Julian is a uh, one point, point uh, match game point. Oh, what um, at the last, okay, trying again. It's a nice game. We can see that uh, Julian he managed his match straight. Nice. He never led the opponent to best of three. Nice, uh, nice game uh, from uh, Adham uh, and Julian. Adam played really good, but Julian he managed his match. He maintained his match how he played first set and second set. Yeah, it was really tough. Interesting. So, uh, Mauritius will have two players in the final. Yes. Singles. So I have a men's singles and women's singles final. Now I have a doubles, two doubles. I hope they will manage their match. And we make a Mauritius flag in final, all the flag in uh, all the event to final. But uh, unfortunately, my Omen doubles is not in the team. I have a mix semi-final as well. So I hope they all the final. So make the Mauritius flag to high. Thank you, Coach Muna, for uh, having you here uh, with us in the commentary box. Thank you for inviting. And uh, we wish your uh, team uh, very good luck, a good match. And we are uh, uh, looking for seeing them on the podium at the closing ceremony. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.
gentlemen, welcome to All Africa Senior Championship 2024 at semi finals. Now we have the champion Julian. How do you feel after the match? After you, now you're here after 2022 and after the injury? Uh, it's very good to be. I'm very happy to be in the final again. Uh, I got a big injury in 2021 and I missed the 2022 edition. I was happy also to reach the final loss year coming back from injury. But I was not really like 100% like my, my best because uh, I just trained a few months before the tournament. Now I feel I'm, I'm ready to go and go fight for the final. Uh, I'm eager to win the gold medal tonight. So I'm really looking forward to, to the match tonight. And today's match was very uh, hard mentally because I had to be very focused. I had a big match yesterday. I had to be... Um, very efficient, not to waste too much energy, but also uh, like putting the right pressure to get the points. I think Adam was not 100% also. We, we can see he wanted to throw up, but uh, it's part of the game. I had to be uh, focused till the end. I was very good mentally in the second to fight back. I was down like five, four points. I came back and I hold my advantage and I was happy to win today. So now you're going to the finals. You think you'll keep your crown in the championship? Sorry? Yeah, I'm, go I'm going all out tonight. I'm just focusing on myself. Um, I, I will do my best. And if everything is right uh, mentally and physically, there's no reason for me not to win. So now you don't feel pressure, you don't feel nervous, you're super... Uh, just excited to go on the court again, yeah. Wish you best of luck. Thank you.
So back uh, on court number one uh, with the semi-final of uh, men double, Mauritius represented by uh, Melvin and uh, Tejraj against Nigerian Godwin and uh, Nusa Momo. And we have with us, we have with us coach from uh, Uganda. Yes. Uh, Can uh, you present yourself uh, please? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ivan Drek Karimunda, uh, coach in Uganda. And uh, of course, I'm here to look at the proceedings in the men's doubles semi-finals between uh, Nigeria and Mauritius. This one has an unfolding of a very good semi-final because uh, Mauritius themselves, we've known them for being very good doubles players. Yeah, quite surprising to have Tej Raj and uh, Melvin Apia in the uh, semi-final or uh, what do you think? They, they had a really tough match yesterday. They really fight to get uh, the spots here in the semi-final. I, I must admit, uh, they, they took me by surprise. Uh, the Af South African player looked as though they were the favourites, yeah. I think. And, uh, but uh, they played really well and of course these are the profits of beating the South African pair that were favorites and of course with this one uh, the Nigerians also did play well so it is I according to me it's a 50 50 it can go either way yeah they defeated the, the all Africa uh, champions in men's double uh, for 2023 but uh, they played very well. It was a very uh, tough match yesterday. Long rallies. Yeah, of course, uh, when you look at the Nigerian pair, they have the never say die attitude. <laughs> they are going to run after every other shuttle. It, they are going to put up a very big fight, irrespective of the rankings. I think it's just in them to fight like they always do we've always known but of course this one is a very interesting matchup uh, because uh, honestly speaking not so many people expected the the mauritian pair to be in the fight in the semi-finals so they are there on merit and i think this is a very very hard match to call We can say that uh, the Mauritius are the outsiders exactly. uh, yeah. on the paper, where, while uh, Godwin, an Olympian in men double with uh, Anu Opeyori, who is still uh, playing uh, his semi final in single. Yeah, what is interesting, the Nigerians can be favorites on paper. But badminton is not played on paper, so that is why we are seeing the, the Mauritian paper, the pair being in the semi-finals and not the South Africans. Yet at the beginning, everyone was pretty much expecting the South Africans to be in the semi-finals. But I want to tell you that uh, we have seen so many surprises in this individual tournament. Yes, uh, f first, first surprise was uh, Gladys Mbabazi from your uh, country, from your national team, uh, winning and defeating the seeded player Nur Yusri from Egypt. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, the Ugandan players uh, have come a long way. We've, we, we have been building for quite some time now. And of course, uh, if, if you looked at their rankings, they have been improving slowly but surely and of course uh, we have a feeling in the singles uh, we have we have we have a very good chance against whoever it is on the continent uh, literally uh, in the singles yes you realize in the team events we virtually won majority of our singles match we only I think uh, lost uh, one match against uh, Skulls, Joanita, but they particularly did so well in the singles. It's uh, the doubles that has caused us a little bit of uh, <laughs> a headache <laughs> when it comes to that. Yes, 
exactly yes yes it's true but uh, uh, as you were saying uh, Uganda is building the players um, since uh, many years and now we can say that it's paying uh, off with the now your uh, women's team uh, uh, that has reached the silver uh, the second spot the second place and they are winning the, the silver medal uh, let's uh, what, what can you uh, tell us about uh, all the preparation? You have Fadila, you have uh, Husina, you have Gladys and you have Tracy who are now uh, uh, playing all around the, the, the world, competing uh, tournaments and trying to qualify for uh, Olympic uh, race. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a strategy by Uganda Badminton Association to have as many of our players competing around the world of course uh, well it comes along with a lot of sacrifice as an association and of course um, hard work yeah we have we have quite a number of young players back home and uh, we are trying so very much as Uganda Badminton Association to ensure that uh, we have a new generation saying I stop. You can just finish it. Uh, we are trying to push as many players as the Uganda Badminton Association so that we can be competitive both on the continent and uh, of course in the world. Yes, uh, I was answering the question, what uh, we are doing, we are of course making so many sacrifices as an association uh, to make sure that we push these various players to camps, to training uh, academies in, in the quest to get to the elite level with the other badminton powerhouses in the, on the continent. And uh, I, uh, modestly I must say we are getting there slowly by slowly. Gentlemen, welcome to All Africa Senior Championship 2024 semi-finals. Victor, how do you feel? Um, this is your first time in All Africa and now you're already in the semi-finals. How do you feel after the match? I feel great for myself and for everyone who supported me. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy for myself. Yeah. About the match, it's like, uh, was it hard for you to play in Ghana's also a Ugandan a Nigerian player? Uh, it's... Uh, been a good journey for me. That's what I'll say. It's, I'm impressed with myself. Uh, with whatever, I, whatever I've played here today, so I'm happy. I'm, I've done a great job. For me. You see, in the match, you uh, you were uh, lost. Uh, you lost the first set, and you made it in the second set. So you came back, and so how you changed your strategy in the match. Yeah, I've always used um, this. One strategy for every game, the first set, lose first set, then go for the next and the third. But I tried my best to pick the first set, but it wasn't, I wasn't pushing enough. That's why I had to get a second set. But the third, I lost. Um, I say next time I get it. What are your targets in the next time? My target is the finals next time. Anytime I'm coming here, I always target the finals. That's why you see I lost in a final semi-final uh, and we are all waiting for you in the finals next time thank you so much
And gentlemen, now we are here with the championship Anu. Anu, how do you feel now after winning and after this is your fifth time in the finals? Yeah, um, I'm really happy that uh, I'm able to be in the finals. Uh, the competition are tough. Uh, that's why um, I've won it like uh, two consecutive times uh, back to back. So uh, I know that most of the players are going to uh, beat me. So their aim is to uh, come at me with their full force. And uh, it was overwhelming and it was challenging. But I'm happy that I'm able to find a, a way to crack the co code and uh, and uh, yeah, um, the survive to the finals. It's really important for me to be in the finals. In the match, you won the first set, and then you lost the second set, and then came back in the third. So, did you change your strategy, or what happened? Uh, in the second set, I kind of uh, lose my guard, so uh, I lost a bit of focus. That is what prompted the unforced error from the beginning. So, uh, I had a lot of opportunities from the beginning, and uh, I was losing points, and it was way ahead of me in the first, second game. So, I was uh, I changed my strategy eventually, and. Um, I, it was kind of too late to meet up, so I have to just uh, I have to just uh, find a way in the third match. What are your expectations for the finals? Um, I'm hoping to play to the best of my ability because I'm playing against a, a very strong opponent, very tough. Uh, I have beaten him last year, and uh, I know he's coming back to uh, play very strong against me because. Uh, um, I have been his main challenge mostly in this tournament and uh, I've stopped him from winning like several um, tournaments like uh, this like a championship. So he will be coming at me with full force and yeah, I'm quite prepared for the challenge also. Thank you and new wish you best of luck. Here after the interview of uh, Anu. Um, so before the, the interviews, you were explaining. You were explaining um, what Uganda Badminton Association were uh, investing on players. Yeah, um, I was basically saying.
So, um, how, how, how badminton Uganda has reached that level of having uh, players uh, before you had uh, players like uh, Brian Kassirye, who was talented. Uh, now you have Fadila Shamika, she's talented also. How, yeah. how uh, badminton Uganda is uh, developed at national level? How detecting players? Which program are you uh, developing uh, at national level? What's the structure that uh, Uganda uh, is uh, putting in place? And the uh, investment that uh, Uganda Badminton Association also is uh, providing to the players? Uh, <coughs> of course, like I was saying before, the Uganda Badminton Association has a strategy and of course um, the, the regional development, grassroots badminton in schools, the shuttle time programs, all these have come in handy in helping uh, Uganda Badminton Association. Uh, of course, uh, basically uh, at uh, UBA we believe that uh, the young Uh, we have had programs, of course, uh, assisted by BWF and, and uh, BCA, like Shuttle Time. This one has helped so much with the schools, because majority of our players come from schools to high schools and then the universities. So basically, those programs have helped. But of course, UBA, Uganda Badminton Association, as uh, the mother body, we have always tried to get funding from various uh, stakeholders, sponsors, to see that uh, we have our players go for these uh, engagements around the world. And of course, um, we must say uh, it has been very, very, very profitable for us because apparently, if you are looking at the rankings, uh, I think uh, in, in, in on the continent, I think... Uh, when you see Fadila's ranking, you look at uh, uh, Gabe Husna, Gladys, then Tracy. The, the ranking has improved tremendously. But of course, this is uh, with the help of the BCA, BWF, and of course, other stakeholders back home that have come in with the finances to support the association. It works. Of course, the National Council of Sports back at home is very supportive. And of course, these um, various individuals that are so, so enthusiastic about it. We have Simon Mugabe. He thinks and breathes badminton all the way. And of course, and the president and the executive being very supportive of these young girls. And of course, uh, we have maintained that uh, schools are the best to get players because we get them when they are young. They do not have so many problems. The parents are supportive. So it is a program. It is a process. And of course, we are looking to, to, to even better because they are young ones after the Tracy's and uh, Fadilas in the schools. Of course, these ones are better because they are exposed. But we are trying to make sure that we get as many players exposed as possible so that we can compete with the other countries because... Uh, uh, when you look at, for example, the Mauritius uh, players, we have a junior pair in the semi-finals of a senior championship. So it means they are also doing. We have to look to emulate such countries that do their programs very well. Yes, thank you. And we say hi to uh, Uganda badminton uh, friends that are uh, watching uh, the semi-finals. Uh, hi Simon and hi the presidents of uh, and all the stakeholders that ha are uh, involved of the presence uh, and participation of uh, Uganda badminton uh, national team here in the All Africa Senior Championship. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is a very very important and of course opportune moment uh, for me to to thank first of all the executive. Then, of course, uh, that executive uh, headed by the president, uh, Madame Annette Nakamia, the CEO, Simon Mugabe, uh, of course, and other, the other members of the committee. And, of course, uh, in a very special way, 
the Uganda government for the support because if we didn't have their support it would be very hard for us to represent the country because they come in handy with the funds. I know they are even preparing funds for the team to travel to Accra for the All Africa Games. And of course, uh, we have uh, Uganda International in a week's time uh, coming next week. So this is all thanks to the National Council of Sports. And of course, the parents of the, the athletes, uh, because they have supported these players, uh, you know, we can do the work, but if the parents are not supportive, they will not give you their kids to play. So I want to thank them and of course the Ugandan public for supporting us all the way. Yeah, it's a really good point uh, you, are, uh, you are raising here, Coach, is like the support of the parents. It is a really crucial when you are investing in uh, players to have the support of the parents. What, what can, how are you um, getting the parents in Uganda to uh, give you the opportunity to bring the, play the players to that level of your girls now and the boys, of course? Uh, of course, uh, we have engagements with the parents. Our advantage is these players have all come through a system, through the schools, to juniors, to seniors. And of course, we have had the monitoring of the schools, first of all, the head teachers, the games masters. And of course, we have had parents come to watch their kids play. We, we always encourage them. We have had rapport with them all the time. And of course, they like it when their children also go and represent the country. It is pride for them and pride for the association. Back here on the court number one. Nigerian pair uh, leading uh, at the at the break, putting pressure on uh, the player uh, Tejraj Pulto, attacking, attacking on him, and not giving any chance to Melvin to uh, get a shuttles. Yes, uh, I think they have isolated Pulto. Uh, he's he's made a few errors, and they are insisting on him. I think. Uh, they, they look at Apia as maybe the better partner, so they don't need to go so much to him. But uh, it is still close, just three points game, so you never know. Mauritius can come back and catch up. But we are, of course, the advantage is now with the Nigerian pair because they took the first set. So literally, Mauritius has to pull up their socks, otherwise they will miss out on the finals. And in the, the second uh, semi-final uh, between the Algerian pair who are uh, seeding, seeded number one in this tournament, fighting uh, for a crucial points also in the Olympic race, needing to, needed to, to be in the top 50 uh, in the world rank to qualify for uh, Olympic Games, which is really, really difficult. I and here are playing against the young uh, no. youngsters from Mauritius. Uh, of course, like you have said, when it comes to the road to Paris, it is going to be really hard to be in the top 50 in the world. Uh, and like the singles, when you look at the singles where there is a continent, I think, slot, this one you have to be among the very best in the world. So there is no continental slot, I think. It's going to be hard, but of course they are favourites, uh, considering the fact that they are playing a very good junior team uh, 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 from Mauritius. Actually, for me, they have been the pair of the tournament for me because of their age, and of course they are not so much exposed like the other pair they are playing. They have really, really been so, so good, because they had to beat a very good pair from Egypt, I think, in the quarterfinals. So these juniors are really going to be, if I'm not wrong, one of the top, top teams in a, a year or two to come. Wow, so we have a new award now. It's the, the player of the tournament. And uh, Kemtish and uh, Luca are the ones who are being uh, awarded by uh, Coach Evans, in his opinion. And they really show that they are here. I and they, f they showed to, uh, to the players and to the crowd their level how they improve uh, since the junior championship one and a half year ago in Mauritius, where they won 
men's double and Kem Tish and Luca won the first and the second place in the men's singles. You know, if, if I, I hope I will still be here to remind you in a year or two, if a junior player is in the semi-finals against the number one and they're not actually playing badly, look yes. at it is 11-10 yes, <laughs> and yes, this and is the number one player on the continent. So you wait and see. You will tell me I'm not a prophet of doom, but uh, I am telling you these boys are going to be a very big problem for the senior players. Yes, I, yeah. I agree. I agree. Uh, I agree with you. And they are really making hard life to uh, this uh, Algerian play pair. They are uh, attacking very much, um, looking that it looks like the, the strategy from the coach Muna is working well. 11-10 at the break for the Algerian, but they are not feeling very confident. If you look at, at the junior pair, they're actually very calm. They're very composed and I like the way they coordinate. You would think they want to isolate the young, the young man, but he's defending really well. At his age, he's surely playing so well for his age. And we think that player, you should watch it. It's going to do wonders in, in, in a few years' time. Yeah, nice, nice uh, point from uh, the double Algerian pair with a strong six match from Kosela. But uh, I just want to share with you that uh, a secret. Yes. That uh, Kem Tish and uh, Luca, uh, due to their... Uh, very good results has uh, benefited the uh, scholarship to prepare uh, this championship. Uh, their, their very good results in the last under 19 has uh, benefited uh, them to go to NVBA uh, International Academy in Malaysia for one month and train hard. And it shows that here now it's working and it's paying off. Of course, uh, each one of you would want to know what uh, they have learned. But by getting to the semi-finals, they surely show you that they have been practicing and training somewhere else. And of course, the results are here to see. Because if you had a one month in a camp, then a semi-final in a seniors championship, surely then they should go back. I think they even get better. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the next uh, pair to try for... Uh, LA 2028? Very true, very true. I believe that can happen because they are starting early. So if you look at though they are giving the number one pair on the continent a hard time, you would realize that we just have, as, a, as Africa, we have to invest in the young ones uh, because if you look at the number one pair, they are also aging, they are getting old. And of course, when start early, then you never know we shall have a very good representation at the olympics in Atalanta or something like that court number one the match is uh, led by uh, nigerian pair 16-12 yes it looks like uh, this one might go nigeria's way Yeah, 17, 12, it's a little bit to fight, hard to fight back. The momentum is with the Nigerian pair. Nice judgment from uh, Olofua. Nineteen fifteen in the court number two for the second semi-final here in men's double. We were talking about uh, the youngsters from Mauritius, but Algerian pair is not so old, you know. Kosela is uh, twenty-five years old, and Sabri twenty-eight. And how old 26, is sorry, twenty-six? How old is Deuce? 
19 and 19. Yeah. You see, so <laughs> that is a seven years difference, my that's friend. That's true, that's true. That's You're big, right. That's big, uh, but I'm very impressed with the show they have put up. Uh, everyone would have expected them to be beaten very badly, but there is uh, evidence that what has been done in the camp should be continued. Appear showing very good defense and the uh, center court yeah uh, all of who are pushing his uh, partner to smash to attack all the shuttles but it looks like it's not the the only way to win points you you, you have got to to have a variety uh, attack attack no not all the time because if you're attacking someone who's defending so well like api has been doing you have to look for another way Probably uh, you drop and then do something else because the attack is not bringing the points. Especially when you have a, a tall opponent in front of you. Yes, Mauritius fighting back. Uh, it's, I hope uh, it is not too little or too late because the uh, 15, the, the four points difference is really uh, kind of huge. But you never say never in badminton. Yeah, we have seen uh, mm. some comeback uh, in this championship. Yeah, and it is match point. It looks like it is destined to be Nigeria's final to get into. Good fight from uh, mm. the Mauritius pair. Yeah, there I go, and Nigeria takes it. Yeah, it was zero. a really, really nice uh, match. The outsiders uh, from uh, Mauritius, uh, Tej Rajpulto and uh, Melvin Apia. I think uh, they will be happy with their performance. Yes. In the, in, the, in, in the first place, if you told them I'm giving you a bronze medal, they would take it. <laughs> uh, and there are very many people who didn't have said they would make it, but I think they have really played so well. And uh, that is uh, congrats to the pair for getting a medal. That is what we always want. You bring a team, goes back with the medal, that is very good accountability back home. Yes, true, true, true. So uh, we are here and uh, we uh, will wait for the next match. Thank you, Coach Evans, for uh, being with us here. You are welcome. Uh, the opportunity to uh, talk about uh, Uganda Badminton Association and all the efforts that they are uh, working hard to give exposure to the players. And also not only for able bodies, but also for para badminton yes, players. Yes, yes, even the para. Uganda, yes. who is the first country who has uh, putting in place a, an international tournament in Africa. Yeah, yeah, on that front as well, we are trying, making sure badminton is for all. Not only the able bodied, but also the para people. I think uh, we back home, Simon did flag off... Uh, Uh, we have, uh, of course, flagged off a para team to the World Championships of Pala in Thailand. So I think that is uh, evidence that badminton in Uganda is for both para and these other ones that uh, are not para. So I inclusivity is very important uh, for para badminton. Uh, we uh, we talk about para badminton now, but uh, Special Olympic. What is uh, uh, Uganda doing for Special Olympics? Players who have uh, mental disabilities. Uh, we can see uh, last year in Berlin there was the World uh, Special Olympics Championship. Countries coming from all over the world bringing. Uh, players uh, come and compete together on a friendly way. Um, what's the what's the strategy for Uganda uh, Badminton Association regarding the Special Olympics? Uh, of course, uh, when you're talking about Special Olympics, the Pala, our strategy has always been the same. Uh, we have as many. Of course, you talked about inclusivity. It is one of the areas where even the government looks to support uh, because it, it 
it shows that there is no segregation discriminating irrespective of whether you are para or not and we are having quite a number of them in Uganda back home so we have we have um, a program that goes to various regions of the country and we have uh, we have quite a number of para coaches who are trying to spread the game to make sure every other people that have um, like a hall around them or schools, we, we have centers to try to get these people. We, uh, with our few resources as an association, we have tried to fund these um, programs so that we have as many. And I'm sure if you have realized in Africa, we have quite a number Gentlemen, of para players to compared to other countries. And of course, and uh, this is uh, ended the semi-finals doubles. Please so how do you feel, Kusela, after the match? Uh, we are happy with the win in semi-final in Wendover with Sabri. Now we are looking for the final uh, later this afternoon. So we are going to take some rest now and prepare for the final. Okay, so uh, what are your expectations for the next match? We, our, our goal is to take the gold medal. So we are going to give uh, everything to take the win and we will see what happens. And do you feel now the more pressure, more nervous and being the finals? No, it's not about the final. It's uh, like uh, if we ta put too much pressure on, uh, on us, it won't work. So we just need to take it like uh, easy, uh, breeze and let's see what happens. Best of luck, Kusela. Thank you. Gentlemen, welcome back. And now we're here with uh, our doctor. Doctor, we heard bad news that Fadila retired from the tournament due to a medical injury. Can you tell us what happened? Uh, yes, uh, actually in the semi-finals, the single match, uh, Fadila, Uganda player, uh, she sprained her ankle three times uh, and she was badly hurt and in pain and there was swelling and she couldn't even wait bare on her foot. So um, uh, after assessing her, we found that there is grade two uh, ligamentous strain which 
yeah, it was the right decision for her to retire because uh, she thinks about her future. Maybe I can win this match, but I will lose or I will have a bigger injury, which will just disturb me in the other tournaments uh, to play well. Uh, so she came after the match. We found that there is a huge uh, swelling. Uh, we gave her medication and we just told her to do an MRI to make sure that everything was right. And I think that was the right decision for her to retire from the match and the tournaments. And what she about it, like she, um, is it was her decision and the coach decision to make the, that she um, she cannot even uh, do the doubles, even the doubles she cannot be in the in the match. Actually, according to the laws, if she retired from the single, then she have to retire from the whole tournament. She can't retire from a single uh, uh, play. So. Um, we assessed her and we told her that you have a grade 2 ligament strain and if you continue it, you can have a bigger injury. So that was totally her decision, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor.
gentlemen, welcome back. And now we're here with the champions from Algeria, Tanina and Kusela. How do you feel after, after the match? Yeah, we are happy to be in the final once again. Uh, now we will take some rest and like, we need to focus. We take each match, match by match, but now we need to focus for the final. Uh, there are very important points for the qualification, so we will uh, give our best to, to win the final. And what do you think about, uh, what's your opinion about the match, uh, the difference of the score? Um, yes, there is a quite difference uh, in the score, uh, but um, it's because uh, we managed to play well and uh, to keep the, the tactic on, so we are happy, uh, but it's never that easy that the score uh, means. What do you expect for the next match? Uh, in the next match it will uh, be against Egypt or Nigeria, so it will be hard work again. So we will uh, focus and try to keep the attack uh, because the shuttle are slow, so we need to maintain the pressure on the opponent. So yeah, we will we'll see uh, how it goes. Best of luck, thank you.
And gentlemen, welcome back to All Africa Senior Championship 2024 semifinals. And we have the champions from Egypt, Adham and Doha. Adham, what do you think after the match? Of course, I'm very happy with our performance today. We played very well. This, uh, like we have the last step of the tournament. We are aiming for the gold. We will fight. And I'm proud of myself and, uh, of course, Doha. And uh, we hope we get the gold medal soon, inshallah. And Doha, what are your expectations for the next match? Uh, actually, I'm very happy today that our performance is very, very good. Uh, I think we will play good. Uh, one more step to the finals and to the gold medal, so let's do it. Of course, Tanina and Kusela are very tough players, so what are you going to st your strategy in the next match? Of course, we have a huge respect uh, for them and we are ready to play against them. Our strategy is uh, like uh, we are playing in my uh, home ground. And uh, we are aiming for the gold, so it's nothing impossible in badminton. We will fight, and uh, we love badminton, so that's why we play badminton. And about the pressure and nervous now to be in the finals, how, how as it for you on a scale from one to ten? Uh, actually, um, we are very nervous, of course, uh, but we we want to enjoy our match, and we are very happy that we reached the, uh, the finals. So yeah, thank you. Best of luck. Thank you very much.